Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So it's the 24th of December. Happy Christmas Eve. Woo! Okay, so it's Christmas Day tomorrow. I cannot believe how fast December has gone. I think it's the fastest year ever. I don't know whether it's because I've been trying to get all these diamond paintings done and it's just gone. <laughs> Anyway, yes, I am still diamond painting. I was diamond painting last night. Uh, at the end of this video, I will put my video of all my diamond painting things uh, that are hung on my walls downstairs. So, yep, keep watching to the end. Uh, I'll just quickly show you these. Um, these are my Craft Buddy Crystal Art keychains. Um, I actually got these last year as part of... Uh, I was an influencer for Craft Buddy for a while last year and these were part of like my PR package that I got from them um, and yeah I mean I'm really impressed to be honest the amount of special drills that are on these I mean look at that Robin it's got the three different marquees there and you know the little eye and the beak and everything and the double sided and the detail is just wonderful so yeah these are keepers um yeah i'm just not going to be able to pass these on to anybody i don't think <laughs> uh, the snowflake look at that again double-sided all the sparkles and marquees i mean they are a higher price point these than some of others that you can buy but to be honest they really are worth it they really the amount of drills and special drills and all the ones that i've got left over are just amazing and then even the little Christmas tree, look how many different colours are on there. And some of these aren't even used in any of the other two uh, projects either. So, yeah, just a nice little project that I sat and did. Uh, did I do them last night and I was doing these yesterday afternoon. <laughs> I've been running around shopping, wrapping presents, getting deliveries, going getting prescriptions, ringing up people. And, yeah... <laughs> diamond painting as well um have i slept yeah I'm, I'm sure i have had some sleep at some point so yeah these will all be kitted down after christmas sadly there weren't any uh, key codes or uh, dmc codes with this so i'm gonna have a look and see because you can go on craft buddy's website and uh, some of the kits certainly all the older kits uh, they used to do like um a graph with all the different codes for all the different kits i'm going to look up and see if i can find this one because there's so many special drills on it it would probably um help for my storage that i'm going to do after christmas uh you know to reorganize it if i can find some of uh, the special drill numbers for these so yeah anyway that's for after christmas oh i can't even think about tomorrow there's so much going on uh, what am I doing this afternoon? I've got a friend coming this afternoon. Um, I want to try and get out and film the street. I've been wanting to do it for the last three nights because like, our street is just like Christmas wonderland. It's absolutely wonderful. You'll love it when you see it. I'm hoping it comes out really well on camera. Uh, but it's been absolutely chucking it down with rain and I can't go out the house without Millie and I can't take Millie out when it's really, really raining. I don't mind. Uh, getting wet or soon dry off but i don't want millie absolutely soaked so yeah millie's our little scottish terrier if you don't know millie uh, she does appear in quite a few videos and on my little thumbnails for my videos as well she's usually on one of them in fact mainly she is on one of them <laughs> okay so let's see what the 24th has brought us our last day now it is only a very little teeny tiny one here uh, I was expecting one of the bigger projects, but anyway, so we'll see what the 24th has for us. You'd think the 24th would be the best one, really, wouldn't you? But uh, you never know. It could be. Oh, oh, well, it's certainly uh, well packed in. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, right. There's nothing else in there. So we've got a double. Right. Okay, so was it wasn't yesterday, was it? I think it was the day before. Um, we did actually get this one. We got this, which was uh, the green and red. So now we've got some more, but in red and white. Oh, okay. oh that's a bit disappointing. And again, there's no string or elastic or anything to make it onto. And it looks as though it's even got the same little bell on it. 
Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, it's great. I, I don't know. I mean, well, you've already made one of these. Suppose if you decided you weren't sure what you wanted to do and you wanted to make another one, um, you've got another. We've still got a lot of beads left over from the last one, so that's okay. Um, oh, oh, okay. You'd have thought that I'd maybe put some different beads uh, to make something a little bit different and maybe put a different little thing on it. On the whole, um, I've been pleased with this. I say I certainly wouldn't have paid the forty pound that they wanted for it. Uh, just under twelve pound, eleven pound something, twelve pound I paid for it. Then yeah, it's been good value and it's been good fun and it's always fun to see what you get. But I do find that that is quite disappointing to get uh, another well bead set, bracelet making set. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's just go with another <laughs> bracelet. Then we'll have to use red again because uh, the green. I don't. Where will the green go? I mean, it's funny colours as well, isn't it? You'd think that one would have been more the Christmassy colours. Oh, let's do the green. Let's do green for a change. So, yeah, I'm using the pipe cleaners because these are easiest to use for threading. Oh, excuse me. Hello, are you coming in? Come on, then. I hope you haven't been looking at your Christmas presents because they're all in the other room. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have just been joined by uh, little Millie, who's decided that she wanted to have a whinge and come and listen to mummy. She's just been out for a nice long walk and a play with her friends. Uh, we do have another Scotty dog lives near us. And uh, yeah, he's a little boy and she does like to go and play with the little boy, Scotty. Uh, yeah, he's not interested at all. He just turns his back and just lets her run about. And she runs up to him and says, come on, let's play. And he just looks at her, just say, you're kidding, aren't you? And walks off and she's just madly, in, well, she loves all dogs, to be fair. But uh, yeah. Okay, let's thread a few of these then. Let's make another Christmas bracelet. So I was hoping for something a little bit different, a little bit more special. But anyway, I don't like these beads and I love the way they come together. And uh, yeah, they do look quite sort of plasticky when they're uh, in the case. Uh, sorry, when they're in the bag and when they're in this little tray. But uh, once you get them all together, they do look really effective. I must admit, I do like that. I do think that's come out really well. But uh, yeah, to get a double... On the very last day. I suppose it's the first double. So. Okay, whether I'd get another one next year or not, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching uh, the 24 days that I've been doing. I've been trying to do like a couple of days at a time, mainly because I think, um, you know, you don't want to be just seeing me open like yesterday, a wooden heart on its own. Was it yesterday? Do you know, I honestly can't remember. I don't even know what I did this morning. <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah, I was running around like a mad thing. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, I say I may or may not uh, get one next year. We'll see what comes out next year. They seem to be bigger and better advents all the time. But, uh, yeah, huge thank you for all your comments and your likes and the follows uh, and for subscribing and um, we're over 900 subscribers now which is marvellous thank you very much uh, I think last Christmas I was around about was I about 300 last year yeah because I think I'd worked out that to get a thousand subscribers and um, it would take me three years so I've got to 902 years so yeah, hopefully by the end of next Christmas I'll have a thousand which would be really really nice grow our little family um, I have got a giveaway coming up, uh, one of the lovely companies that I work with, I've been working with for over a year, uh, ha has done a special offer, a subscriber special offer, so make sure you do subscribe because I will be doing a little video uh, between Christmas and New Year uh, to let you know that uh, there are some nice giveaways and there will be little vouchers. So, yeah, watch this space. Very, very good of them. I've been very, very lucky for them to uh, offer it to me. So, thank you very much. But I will say, full details are coming up. So, uh, you've got to keep watching. <laughs> oh, dear. Oops. 
some of these are a little bit tricky they're not wanting to go on there i must get my nails try and do something with them today they are in a disgusting state but i've washed my hands so much cleaning and doing jobs and putting up decorations and having sticky stuff on them and then having to scrub them so oh these are quite good oh look you can sort of twist them so that they're going to like oh actually it looks quite like a candy cane you could make a nice candy cane out of this oh there's an idea okay let's do this as a candy cane then so if i just i'll push it down a bit because we don't want too much try and keep this straight so if i just go in between that one there and that one there um and then just see if this will go back up to just fasten it off let's see it might do i don't know whether it's going to be too thick yeah just so that these have got two thicknesses going through they may or may not oh yeah that's gonna work so that's the bottom there just make sure i should have made it a bit smaller but then if you make it too small then it soon comes undone and that defeats the object but what i'm wanting to do um is possibly after christmas just take all these apart i say a lot of it will be going to like my granddaughter so she can then do what she likes so it's just the one look that's got a little bit of green at the bottom in hindsight i should have used the red because then that would be red and it wouldn't show up quite so much but that's okay and then we're just going to do enough to just make that uh, into the candy cane okay oh I like this idea yeah just something a little bit different rather than a wreath because i've been making wreaths and you must think i've got wreaths on the brain mind you to be fair the amount i've got on my walls downstairs when you see it in a moment um yeah you, you will think i have got wreaths on the brain i've just been dreaming about them and i have still got two to do uh, they're my craft buddy ones and i've left them to last because I do like to kick those up. This is set, uh, I think, 30 colours in one and 27 colours in the other. So I don't want to be faffing about with those little bags. It's a lot of colours on one wreath. Um, so I do like to put it into the little pots. And then, of course, I do kick down my craft buddy because they have, well, on the whole, I say, apart from the key rings because they're old, they're the old stock and um, they do have the dmc codes and their own crystal codes so that's what i am aiming for okay how many more of these am i going to put on do you know millie has now decided to go and sit by the door because she wants to go back out again it's going to be one of those days like what did you do today well i let the dog in i let the dog out i let the dog in i let the dog out <laughs> Oh, it does get crazy in our house. Oh, I should have hooked the little bell on the bottom. Look, could have hooked the bell on the bottom. I might do it on the top instead. Yeah, that's quite uh, quite a bit. Let's see how many we've got. Just keep threading away. They're a bit like a fidget toy, these as well. Very tactile. Oops, one trying to escape there. Look, as soon as I say fidget toy, one tries to escape. Oh, uh, I'm wearing my Christmas jumper today. I've got one of my, I think it's my first Scotty Dog Trish Christmas jumper that I've got on today. The first one that I got. And it has a bell on the front. And I'd forgotten it had a bell. And I'm walking about this morning. Well, rushing about this morning. I never seem to walk anywhere these days. And uh, I kept hearing this little bell and I'm thinking, where's that coming from? And Millie had gone out for a walk. Our lovely neighbour goes for a walk in the morning and he takes Millie with us, uh, with him. Um, so we just get sort of an hour on our own, well, half an hour to an hour on our own. And I can get, you know, hubby sorted out a bit easier without Millie wanting to help. And yeah, um, I kept hearing this little bell and I'm thinking, where's the bell coming from? And I'm looking around and I couldn't realise it is me. <laughs> oh dear. Tell you, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Right, so um, I'm not going to cut it, but yeah, so that's what you would do. I mean, you could make them as, as big as or as small as you wanted. You can, actually, that would probably 
if you did it a bit longer, you could curl it round and have it as like a sheep's crook or a shepherd's crook. Sorry, shepherd's crook, sheep's crook. Oh dear. Sheeps don't need crooks, do they? <laughs> so yeah, you can make it into a little decoration. Oh, like that, like that. Right, let me put these bits back in this bag. Actually, do you know, I'm going to put them all into here so that they're all together. And I'll put the little bell in there as well. So I could have put the bell at the bottom. It would have been quite sweet because then if you hang it up. Um, so that's not brilliant. I would probably cut it off uh, and fasten it as I did with the bottom onto the last one. But I won't do that now because I, uh, I will probably be taking these apart. And uh, passing them on. Okay, well, happy 24th of December. I hope you've got everything done that you needed to do. I hope you're going to get lots of love and hugs. I'm certainly sending out lots of love and hugs to anybody that needs it this Christmas. And uh, lots of good wishes to everybody as well. So I'm going to pass you on now to my video of all my diamond paintings downstairs. And it may take a while. So we will start off with uh, my lovely Scotty dog. This one doesn't mind being dressed up. And uh, yeah, it has my little headband on there and two little key rings from last year. So, and yeah, it's got Millie's little neck tie on as well. <laughs> and then we've got our little 3D snowman. So he's there, just making this a happy corner. Then we're up to, these are all the magnetic frames. So that's the Christmas bauble with the Santa. This is Santa corner. Uh, that is, uh, oops, try and get it without a glare. Okay, lovely Santa, special drill. And drunk gnome, merry gnome. Merry Christmas, yeah, definitely a merry Christmas, that one. That's my gnome wreath up there in that corner. And then these two are the first diamond paintings that I got that were cards. So that's Santa with Rudolph. They are actually partials and they are sealed and they are on foam board. So, oh, that's gone a bit raggy. They've been on foam board. Well, I bought them in 2017, but I think I completed them in 2020. <laughs> it took me a long time. I was still um, making cards then. So they took care. Uh, a back seat but now uh, yeah diamond painting is definitely the main craft that i do uh, they're the two that i did from christmas in july again they were partials that's the santa and the robin robins made it into this corner with uh, the santas uh, that's my little gnome hanger that i did last year so yeah there's quite a few gnomes going on in this corner as well santa gnomes that's my chair cover i decided rather than put it on a chair um, I would put it on there and that's because underneath is a picture I've got fixed to the wall of uh, Maisie and it's a Halloween picture so I've just covered it over rather than taking it down and then that's my ho 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 gnomes up there so yeah quite a few gnomes quite a few Santas so this is uh, Santa corner all there with the little Scotty dog at the bottom. So this is uh, the silver corner. <laughs> Just a few because I'm more green, gold and red as you can probably tell. So that's that one with the big bobbles. I decided in the end that I liked it in the black frame. And these frames, these magnetic frames that I got last time from Amazon actually have like a border on them as well. They've got uh, the inner border. So that's really good. So they're like framed extra that's my a large sparkly christmas but out of the wreath and i did just put i did just put a silver edging on that one which i think just finishes it off rather than putting it in a frame i think a frame may have deadened it a bit and then we've got the little one up the top there okay and then we've got the snowman wreath so that one is actually the acrylic wreath which is the same as the big one yay so i've put them sort of together but slightly apart so unless you really look you maybe won't notice <laughs> and then we're on to this is uh, santa hanging from a wreath on a little chain there he's a light up one he was done last year and that's another Santa that I did last year. 
I left that one up um, because it's sort of like all seasons, that one. It's got holly berries and like orange slices and it's got poinsettia there and everything. So it goes spring, summer, autumn, winter, that one. So I've just left that one up in the middle. And then we have snowman. Again, that one was last year. And then this is light up, but just Santa's face there, which is lovely. Very nice Santa. And again, I like that. I must admit, now that I've got the light up ones all lit up, I do like the lights. I think I'm going to have to buy more with lights. Uh, we have little Moo Cow with his stars that uh, we did a framing on. He's there. Oh, that's coming unstuck. It's very warm in this room. Very warm today. Not Christmassy at all. Uh, I've got a Christmas jumper on and I'm absolutely boiling. <laughs> then we come across, that's my Scotty Dog Advent Calendar from my lovely brother and sister-in-law. So thank you very much. We've opened the last one today. That's Millie's Advent Calendar. Yay! And then we've got some biscuit tins. <laughs> These all play tunes. And this one lights up. It actually, it actually projects onto the ceiling, that one as well. So <laughs> that's my little Noel gnome there. And then this is a Scotty Dog. Little, it's actually like the top of a biscuit tin. But again, that one, they all spin round. And I've just got a little silver tree there that I keep. That's my biggest glass toy there. Let's come out my little smiley snowman. Uh, this is from last year. This is my little swinging Santa on his little Christmas tree there. I love that one, really love that one. My little snowman family, again from last year. And then this one I think I finished day before last. Oh, there's me there, look, hello, with my Christmas jumper on and my little bells. <laughs> and yeah, this little owl there. Uh, that hangs on that one so that's that side of the room with all the wreaths above the sideboard and those in the corner there okay Millie has her own advent calendar so we just put some little of a uh, treats in for each day she's had the last one today so that's that one and then this is my advent calendar that I made oh gosh it must be possibly even getting on for 10 years ago I used to take it into work look we've been really good we've not eaten all our candy canes I just put a candy cane in each one there so yeah okay and then this is the Christmas tree I've not put any toys on it yet um it's just got a few bits and pieces I say yeah um obviously it's a bit late now uh, I've got my little key ring from the lovely Chris my little gorgeous girl is on there and then these are some Little Christmas hangers that I've finished with the big diamonds on the bottom there and there and then the little Christmas tree with the bells on the bottom. Sorry, snowman with the bells on the bottom and he's double sided. So yeah, I'll put a picture in of uh, all my glass toys and what my Christmas trees look like in previous years. Uh, yeah this year we've uh, not decorated the tree and then there's my santa skirt that's my diamond painted i did that one last year as well and it says merry christmas on the other side i've got it folded in half because we've got the tree pushed up against the wall <laughs> and then some from this year so that's my little wreath i love the colors on that one really good just put that one on foam board that was my, oops, Christmas in July Scotty Dog. We had to have a Scotty Dog pride of place. Merry Christmas Santa there. He's very jolly and happy. He's guiding the light switches, look. And our Robin wreath. And then we've got the uh, like plate that's a bit like a wreath with a big strawberry in the middle. <laughs> and then our very happy chap Rudolph there in the middle and then we've got the snow globe again on foam board and a tree plate on foam board move down to 
the little snow globes that uh, we did the other day. And we've got Teddy wreath there, Mickey wreaths there, and Stag and <laughs> Christmas tree. Don't tickle me! And then the pretty dress there. That one I finished last night. That's the snowman hanging star. We've got the lovely gingerbread house there. Now then, this tree sticker, oops, it's got a little light hanging on him, um, has actually been taken off the wall and put back on. This is its third Christmas outing. As you can see, it's still plenty sticky. It's not come off. And again, I will just peel him off and uh, put it back on its cover sheet and hopefully it'll be okay for next year. These are just my little lights. I decided that I liked all the lights this year, so that's those. So coming across more lights, oops, hello. <laughs> I've got my Robin hanging there, all lit up. Okay, and that's, oops, the mirror. And then we've got that wreath there, all lit up with the blue tits on it. I love that one. Again, more little hanging things. They're not diamond painted, they're just lights that... Uh, oh, and then I finished the little snowman last night as well. So the snowman and the Santa, I bought them last year, but I didn't get them finished, so they've been done now. Just got a little wreath underneath the telly that I've just put some little LED lights on. We've got our... Oh, Millie's toys there, look. Our sparkly tree there. And we've got our little light up Santa and our little scene there. I think that one was from One Day Saving last year. That was part of the PR package. And then my little picture that lights up. So, yep, they're all from last year. That one's from this year. That's uh, it's not brilliantly lit up, but uh, that's my little wooden candle all lit up there. And it didn't come with lights, but I just wanted to have some lights there, so that's why it's got the lights wrapped around it. Uh, we've got our little gnome, Merry and Bright. We've got our welcome sign, I think that one was from Fan Cells this year. And then we've got the little tree, they were not last Christmas, Christmas before last, and then the little Santa from last year. Okay, and then we've got a lovely little Christmas card from the neighbours, which is all little Scotty dogs. And then our little Scotty dog that we have, that's uh, supposed to go outside, but we use him as a fire guard. He's all dressed up and ready for Christmas. Got our tin plates. These were from, I think I unboxed these. These were the first things I unboxed on my YouTube channel two years ago. So that one's out. These are all my Christmas cards again with lights. I do like my lights. I've got our little Robins hung there, look. And then our little Merry Christmas sign. More Christmas cards. Christmas stock in there. And I think that was in my advent calendar last year. I think that was in the Katia advent calendar. Yeah, I think that was number 24 on Katia's advent calendar last year. And then I finish off with a nice Christmas tree. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at all my Christmas uh, diamond painting projects. It's certainly been a labour of love. I have thoroughly enjoyed doing them all. Uh, I've enjoyed opening this advent calendar and I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything too. I've just put out sort of the main little projects that we've done rather than all the bits and pieces as well. But they are all in a box. And as I say, they will all be yeah, passed on there all nicely in a little box okay well uh, if you have enjoyed looking at this little series with me and seeing all my diamond paintings as always a big thumbs up is very much appreciated it does help me with youtube uh, it means that i get shared a little bit more so hopefully get some new subscribers yay and all i can say is thank you so much everybody for the lovely comments and all the support over the well last two years but uh, particularly over the last crazy month doing this advent calendar okay so merry christmas happy new year hope it's all healthy and fun for everybody and big hugs and best wishes to anybody that needs them okay well thank you ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now